Batman's journey begins in the late 1930s when he made his debut in Detective Comics No. 27 in 1939, created by artist Bob Kane and writer Bill Finger. At the time, superheroes were gaining immense popularity, with characters like Superman leading the charge. However, Kane and Finger sought to create a hero with a darker, more mysterious persona. Inspired by pulp fiction and adventure serials, Batman emerged as a vigilante crime fighter who prowled the streets of Gotham City, a dark and gritty metropolis plagued by corruption and crime. Unlike other superheroes of the time, Batman lacked superpowers, relying instead on his intellect, physical prowess, and an array of gadgets to combat injustice. Batman's origin story, which was revealed in Detective Comics No. 33 later that year, struck a chord with readers. As a young boy, Bruce Wayne witnessed the brutal murder of his parents, Thomas and Martha Wayne, during a botched mugging in Crime Alley. Haunted by this dramatic event, Bruce swore to avenge his parents' deaths by waging a relentless war on crime. Adopting the persona of Batman, Bruce honed his body and mind to peak human condition, mastering various martial arts and detective skills. With the help of his loyal butler, Alfred Pennyworth, and his youthful ward, Dick Grayson, who became the first Robin, Batman embarked on a crusade to rid Gotham City of its criminal underworld. Throughout the 1940s, Batman's popularity soared, thanks in part to his appearances in comic books, newspaper strips, and radio serials. His adventures were characterized by thrilling action, cunning detective work, and larger-than-life villains, including the Joker, Catwoman, the Penguin, and Two-Face. In 1943, Batman made his first foray into the realm of cinema with a 15-chapter serial produced by Columbia Pictures. Starring Lewis Wilson as Batman and Douglas Croft as Robin, the serial depicted the dynamic duo's battle against the Japanese spy Dr. Daka during World War II. While the serial was a commercial success, it took a more simplistic and patriotic approach to the character, in line with the wartime propaganda of the era. Following the conclusion of World War II, Batman experienced a resurgence in popularity with the dawn of the Silver Age of comics in the late 1950s and early 1960s. This period saw the introduction of new elements to Batman's mythos, including the Batcave, the Batmobile, and an expanded roster of allies and adversaries. However, it was in 1966 that Batman reached the pinnacle of mainstream success with the premiere of the Batman television series starring Adam West as Batman and Burt Ward as Robin. Airing on ABC, the series embraced the campy and colorful aesthetic of the Silver Age, featuring onomatopoeic fight scenes, outlandish plots, and celebrity guest villains. Adam West's deadpan delivery and Burt Ward's earnest portrayal endeared Batman and Robin to audiences of all ages. The success of the Batman TV series catapulted the Cape Crusader into the cultural zeitgeist, spawning a merchandising frenzy and cementing Batman's status as a pop culture icon. The 1970s and 1980s were a transformative period for Batman, as the character evolved from his campy roots into a darker, more complex figure. Thanks to the efforts of writers and artists like Denny O'Neill, Neil Adams, Frank Miller, and others, Batman became more than just a superhero, he became a symbol of justice, vengeance, and the enduring power of the human spirit. The 1990s brought further evolution and exploration of Batman's character, as well as continued expansion into various forms of media. This decade saw Batman solidify his status as one of the most iconic and enduring superheroes of all time, with numerous comic book storylines, animated series, and blockbuster films contributing to his legacy. One of the most significant contributions to Batman's mythos during the 1990s was the publication of Batman, the animated series. Premiering in 1992 and produced by Bruce Timm and Eric Radomski, the animated series is widely regarded as one of the greatest adaptations of the character. Featuring stylish animation, mature storytelling, and a noir-inspired aesthetic, Batman, the animated series captured the essence of Batman in a way that resonated with audiences of all ages. The series introduced a new generation of fans to the world of Batman, showcasing iconic characters and storylines from the comics while also offering fresh interpretations and original stories. In addition to its success on television, Batman, the animated series also spawned a successful line of tie-in merchandise, including action figures, video games, and comic books. 
The series' impact on popular culture cannot be overstated, as it helped to introduce Batman to a new generation of fans and solidified his status as a cultural icon. The 1990s also saw the release of several landmark Batman comic book storylines that further expanded and explored the character's mythology. In 1988, writer Alan Ward and artist Brian Ballin published Batman, the Killing Joke, a one-shot graphic novel that offered a chilling and psychologically intense portrayal of the Joker's origins. The story delved into themes of madness, obsession, and the nature of good and evil, leaving a lasting impact on the Batman mythos. Another influential storyline from this era is Batman Nightfall, which ran from 1993 to 1994 and was written by Chuck Dixon, Doug Munch, and Alan Grant, with art by Graham Nolan and others. Outside of the comics, Batman's presence continued to grow in other forms of media during the 1990s. In 1989, director Tim Burton brought Batman to the big screen with his iconic film starring Michael Keaton as Batman and Jack Nicholson as the Joker. The film was a critical and commercial success, setting a new standard for superhero movies and paving the way for future adaptations. Following the success of Burton's film, Warner Brothers released three sequels in the 1990s, Batman Returns, 1992, Batman Forever, 1995, and Batman and Robin, 1997. While each film had its strengths and weaknesses, they collectively helped to keep Batman in the public eye and cemented his status as a cinematic icon. The 2000s brought further growth and evolution for Batman, as the character continued to thrive in various forms of media while exploring new themes and storylines. Batman's presence continued to grow in other forms of media during the 2000s. In 2005, director Christopher Nolan rebooted the Batman film franchise with Batman Begins, starring Christian Bale as Batman and exploring the character's origins and early years as a crime fighter. The film was a critical and commercial success, earning praise for its grounded and realistic portrayal of the character and setting the stage for two sequels, The Dark Knight 2008 and The Dark Knight Rises 2012. The Dark Knight, in particular, received widespread acclaim and is often regarded as one of the greatest superhero movies of all time. Heath Ledger's portrayal of the Joker earned him a posthumous Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor, and the film's exploration of themes such as chaos, morality, and the nature of heroism resonated with audiences and critics alike. In addition to film, Batman also found success in the realm of animation during the 2000s. Batman. The animated series received a spiritual successor in Justice League 2001 to 2004 and its sequel series Justice League Unlimited 2004 to 2006 which featured Batman as a prominent member of the superhero team. These animated series continue to explore Batman's character and mythology while also introducing new audiences to the wider DC universe. Overall, the 2000s were a period of continued growth and innovation for Batman, as the character remained a dominant force in popular culture. On the big screen, Batman returned in 2016 with Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, directed by Zack Snyder. Starring Ben Affleck as Batman, the film explores the conflict between Batman and Superman, as well as the formation of the Justice League. While the film received mixed reviews from critics, Affleck's portrayal of Batman was generally well received, with many praising his brooding and intense performance. Batman's presence remained strong in other forms of media in the 2020s. In 2021, director Matt Reeves released The Batman, a highly anticipated film starring Robert Pattinson as Batman. The film offers a fresh take on the character, exploring his early years as a vigilante crime fighter and his encounters with iconic villains such as the Riddler, Catwoman, and the Penguin. Early reception to the film has been positive, with many praising Pattinson's performance and the film's dark and atmospheric tone. In addition to film, Batman continues to thrive in the world of television and streaming. The animated series Batman, the animated series remains a beloved classic, while newer series such as Batman, The Cape Crusader, offer fresh interpretations of the character for a new generation of fans. Meanwhile, video games like Batman, Arkham Knight 2015, and Gotham Knights allow players to step into the shoes of Batman and his allies as they battle crime in Gotham City. Overall, as we move further into the 2020s, Batman's legacy as one of the greatest superheroes of all time continues to endure. With compelling storytelling, iconic imagery, and a timeless appeal, Batman remains a symbol of justice, 
courage, and the enduring power of the human spirit, inspiring audiences around the world for generations to come.